As I said your honor, that Sanchez boy beat up my son. And not only that, he committed vandalism on this school, and blamed my son for it. Mr. and Mrs. Sanchez, refused to take responsibility and discipline their out-of-control son. Instead, they excuse his actions. And at the same time, they accuse my son, of bullying him. When it's clearly the other way around. I've seen firsthand, how boys like Paul Sanchez are. They never change. Mrs. Barnes, I'm sure you have evidence supporting your claim. I have the evidence, Your Honor. It's a video I took, of Paul attacking Mason without provocation. Bring it here. Hey Paul, listen. Shut the hell up. I'm not listening to anything you gotta say. And there you have it, Your Honor. The court has seen and heard that video played back three times. And it clearly shows Paul Sanchez attacking Mason. Now, I want- Mrs. Barnes, the defense hasn't yet spoken. Young Paul Sanchez, please step up. You got this, Paul. We're here for you, honey. Thanks. Do you admit to attacking Mason Barnes? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, Your Honor. I did. There you have it, Your Honor, an admission of guilt. Mr. Barnes, you do not have the floor. Paul, please continue. Like I was saying, I did fight Mason. But it wasn't because I wanted to. I just... I just let my anger get the best of me. You see, Mason Barnes and Brianna Caldwell They've been bullying me ever since my family moved here. I didn't want to say anything to my parents about the bullying. Because I didn't want to upset them. See, I was also bullied in my last school. My parents had to scrape together the last of our money to move out here. When I finally did tell them that I was being bullied again, they were horrified. When the school was vandalized and I got blamed for it, I had enough. And that's when... I went after them. Mason and Brianna, they were the ones who vandalized the school. They made it look like I did it, as part of their bullying. I didn't want to be expelled, for what they did. And do you have evidence that proves it was those two, who committed the vandalism? We do your honor. This is an analysis of the fingerprints that were on the spray paint cans and books, that we retrieved from the school. Crap. This checks out. The fingerprints match exactly. Wait. That evidence is fake. Order. Order in my courtroom. I assume you can prove that this evidence was forged to Miss Caldwell. Well, I, uh, um, I... No. Then by all means, take a seat, and no further outbursts inside my courtroom. Your Honor, we um, we do have some more evidence that proves Mason and Brianna were responsible. I want to call Jessica Andrews to the stand. Very well. So when I caught up with Paul, he was already there with Mason and Brianna. I quickly got out my phone and started taking video of it. The video clearly shows Mason confessing that he and Brianna spray painted the school and framed Paul for it. And it also shows Mason throwing the first punch in the fight. After Brianna tells him to quote unquote, destroy him. Meaning Paul. Why that little? And you have this footage with you? Yes, your honor. Bring it here. After reviewing all evidence provided, all you super cool dudes and dudettes of the jury will now make a verdict. We the jury all agree and find that- Yes, we're guilty. We're guilty of the whole thing. Mason? What the hell? Order. You Mason Bonds, I presume? That's right. And I just wanted to say, that Brianna and I did it all. And I accept full responsibility. It was because of me, that Brianna was allowed to get away with all of this. All this time, she's been manipulating me into doing all the dirty work for her. I was too blind to see it. Until now. Traitor. Shut up, Bree. I'm sick of being your puppet. Well then, 
we have a plea of guilty, straight from the horse's mouth. That, plus all the evidence, is good enough for me. Mason Barnes and Brianna Caldwell are hereby sentenced to a month in the U detention facility, plus 500 hours of community service. Your Honor, I have a question. Go ahead. Mason confessed to the crime and took full responsibility. Does he? Does he really deserve to be punished? Please allow me to answer that, Your Honor. Yes, Paul, I do. I may have been pulled along, but I still took part in it. I need to go through with my punishment. And also, I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry. I know I've been completely rotten to you. And I hope that. Maybe one day, you'll forgive me. That's all, Your Honor. Then we're all done here. Thank you. You all think that sentence is gonna stick? My parents will bail me out in no time. Alright, let's go. I promise I'll be free within a day. And when I am, you all better hope you don't cross me, cause it won't be pretty. Mason, we're proud of you for doing the right thing. And admitting to your wrongdoings. Yes, we are. I just wish that. It's alright mom. I gotta do this. Besides, it's just a month. I'll be back before you know it. Take care of yourself, Mason. You know it. Well, I bet it feels good to get all that off your shoulders. Yeah, it does. Now I hope everyone at school stops treating me like a criminal. They better. If the video I uploaded won't convince them, I don't know what will. Well, thank you again for all your help, Jessica. I think everyone should have someone like you in their corner. That's really sweet of you, Paul. So Valentine's Day's coming up. I bet you'll be getting all kinds of Valentines from the girls, huh? Nah. Never really cared for all the Valentine's Day stuff, honestly. So, you're saying that there's no one that you'd like to give a Valentine to? Well, I don't know. I'm with Jason. Valentine's Day doesn't do it for me. Besides, it's not like I've got any guys beating down my door. Amber, like half of the boys with school, are completely infatuated with you. Yeah, right. Actually, Heather's not that far from the truth. I've lost count of all the guys, and hell, even a few girls, that came up to me, and asked if Amber is single. And of course, I'm always the last one to know these things. Jessica? Oh hey Paul. I thought it was you. I'm here with my family. When I saw you here, I just thought I'd come and say hi. So how've you been? Pretty good. It sure is nice to have Mason and Brianna off my back. I bet. Just know that I'm here if you ever need anything. Oh by the way, these are my friends. This is Amber, and Heather, and this is Jason. What's up? Hi. Well, see you later Jessica, and nice to meet you all. Bye Paul. See you Monday. So he's the one you've been helping out these past weeks? Yeah. I was pretty much the only one who stuck up for him, when no one else would. You know? That's one of the things I really like about you. How you always go out of your way, to help the underdog. How can anyone not admire that? You're one of a kind Jessica. Really? Absolutely. Thank you Jason. Sit your ass down.